Reinstating more restrictions on San Diego businesses again. Some of those businesses are saying no more. Joining us now is Angie Weber, the owner of Cowboy Star Restaurant in the East Village. Good morning to you, Angie. Good morning, Lauren. How are you? I'm doing well. I wish uh, I wish it was better news for our business mm -hmm. owners as uh, we are pretty much preparing to revert back into that more restrictive purple tier today. So you've decided yeah. to put together this rally with a number of uh, guest speakers, I, I take it, uh, at 4 p.m. today in front of the county administration building. Can you tell us what prompted this, uh, why you finally gotten to this point of saying no more? Yeah, it was actually, uh, you guys had come out and Dan Plant covered our reopening last Tuesday. And of course that was the same day that we found out that we were potentially going to be closed again uh, this week. So we had this outpouring of support um, from other small businesses in San Diego County. And this just really kind of organically came together on Friday night. And by Saturday morning, we had a, a hashtag and a, a time and uh, we were off to the races and it's really just grown exponentially since Saturday. Um, we have hair salons, nail salons, small retail shops, um, personal care services like lashes and waxing and things like that, and gyms, uh, amusement parks, and the dark horse, the surprise, is the museums reached out to us and uh, they are a passionate folk, so they will be there speaking as well. And uh, we're really just hoping that uh, the county will take back control of San Diego and start creating metrics for reopening safely that makes sense for our county. Uh, we really believe that the state metrics the way they are right now are flawed and, and unrealistic. So you mentioned the hashtag, which I, I should let our viewers know is hashtag we mean business. Yeah. And that is, is just to say that in order for you to survive as a business, you need to be able to operate. And businesses are not designed to operate on 10, 20, 25% occupancy. So you're actually asking for the Board of Supervisors to ask for local control, and that's not to say that you think that everything should be reopened, correct? That's correct. Yeah, we are not looking to go rogue and crazy and, you know, just fling the doors open. Um, for us personally, we have added safety measures above and beyond what the state or the county even asked us to. Uh, so for us, you know, the real, you know, trick in the metric is where we have to close indoor. We can't do outside dining on 10th Avenue. So that means we close again. And this time, uh, you know, a, a, another closure, a third closure with all of the inventories and the money gone and all those things. For us, it, it means life and death. So we're just, you know, we're like a lot of other small businesses I've found out in the last 72 hours that are in the same boat that we can't continue the yo-yo. And we're just looking for the county to create metrics that work for San Diego County. You know, we watch the, the county's daily numbers and we are winning the fight against COVID. We haven't seen a huge increase in hospitalization or ICU beds and there's really no reason why we can't save our economy and fight the virus at the same time. And, you know, I, I, I follow Dr. Wooten and, and Dr. McDonald's um, advice and, and conferences, you know, every week. And, uh, you know, we're all prepared to work with what they put into place. Okay, so 4 p.m. today, what are you what are you hoping viewers will do? You just asking people who are in support of uh, yeah. keeping restaurants open to come down at 4 p.m. Yeah, all small businesses really. I mean, we have you know people that are speaking from personal care services and gyms, and amusement parks and museums and small retail, um, who are all in the same boat as restaurants. It's not just restaurants. So we're hoping that people will come down and support us. And, and sh you know, there's a lot of us out there that would like to have their story shared uh, with the county board and, and so that the county understands where we are at. All right, Angie Weber, thank you so much for your time this morning. Certainly appreciate it. All right, again, that's 4 p.m. outside the county administration center, outside the main entrance there. Thank you, Angie. Take care. Have a good day. You too. Okay, Mark Mathis.